Usually on this channel, we talk about posting to YouTube, but today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna talk to you about watching YouTube. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, I'm watching YouTube right now. I, I know how to do it. But I'm telling you, there are tons of hidden features and tools on the YouTube platform that can really enhance your viewing experience. And I'm gonna show you all these hacks today, both on the desktop platform and on the mobile app. Here's a hint for you though, you need to be signed into your account to use most of these hacks. The first one is all about filtering your search results. When you search a term in the search bar, YouTube's algorithm determines your results, but you have more control than you think. On the desktop, click this filter button to reveal all these hidden sort options. You can filter by when it was uploaded, video length, view count, and much, much more. On the mobile app, the filter button is located in the top right corner of the search results screen. My next tip for you is all about chapters. You may have noticed that creators are putting all of these timestamps in the description boxes under their videos. And if you're someone who never reads the description, you may not have noticed this. Those timestamps are referred to as chapters. And when you click on one, it takes you directly to that point in the video. On the desktop version of YouTube, you get an added feature. When you hover your mouse over the play bar, you can see the chapters as well. Now here's a great tip for you. If you have a video you like to reference a certain section of, go ahead and comment under that video the timestamp you always wanna go back and find. When you go back to that video, for you personally, your comment will always be at the top and that timestamp will work as a hyperlink right into the point of that video. Next up, let's talk about that YouTube homepage. When you go onto your homepage, it looks different for you than it does for anybody else. And you're gonna see a very wide array of content because YouTube's not sure what you're in the mood for to watch right now. On the desktop version, when you hover your mouse over a thumbnail that catches your eye, these three dots will appear. And if you click it, there are a lot of options. The first is add to queue, which means you can actually create your own playlist of videos you wanna watch right now. Next is watch later. So if you spot a video you know you wanna watch, but now's not the time, you can add it to your watch later list, which is found on the left side of the screen if you click these three lines. After that is Save to Playlist, which adds the video to a playlist on your own channel. Below that are options for telling YouTube you're not interested in that content or channel, so you can get better results on your homepage next time. Now on the mobile app, those three dots are always visible under the videos. Okay, now we're gonna get into my favorite hacks, but before we do that, if you feel like you're learning something, hit that subscribe button. Now we're gonna get into the watch page. Click this little gear here and I wanna show you some things. First, we can set our playback quality. YouTube automatically detects your connection speed and plays back at a resolution that's optimized for your connection, but you can manually set it as well. Set it to the highest resolution in order to get the clearest picture or on the mobile app, if you're trying to conserve data, lower the resolution. On the app, you won't see the gear icon. Just hit these three dots and that's where you'll find the playback quality. Also, if you're curious about all this information you're seeing on the right side of my YouTube platform, that is a Chrome extension called TubeBuddy that gives me insights that help me grow my channel. I'll throw a card up here with a video I made that has more information on that. And for my final and personal favorite hack, let's change the playback speed on these videos. I like to speed up a long video when the actual video part isn't as important as the audio, let's say in a podcast, in an interview, or like a lecture. On the desktop version, hit that gear icon, select playback speed, and you can either slow it down or speed it up. On the desktop, you can even custom set the speed. On the mobile app, again, there's no gear. Just hit these three dots to get those results. I have to believe you learned a little something in this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what was your favorite tip. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again.